It's Britney, bitch. I'm back. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much Another day, another train here in Kyoto, Japan It is currently 5 to 3 uh, It's been pretty good most of the day This is the first chance I've had to actually do any vlogging or anything like that Just walking downstairs at the moment, mind my eyes We went on a tour aimed tonight We went with Sunshine Buffalo Tourism We saw the Golden Pavilion um, and a few other temples they're just absolutely incredible. The Golden Pavilion, um, it was exceptionally busy. There was people absolutely everywhere. But it was just so picturesque. You know, take a look. Have a look at this. Absolutely just picturesque. Really, really perfect place to see. But what we're doing now we're going off to the Gion district. So the Gion district, if you don't know, um, it's where there's a lot of geisha that walk around and it is one of the five districts that there is. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going there for dinner tonight um, and then I'm going to be doing a spot of night photography. So we were there yesterday, um, it was hailing, it was wet, it was cold, we were held up in Starbucks and there wasn't anything we could do about it. Um, so we're going back there tonight. Um, they are going to be doing a bit of a light festival at one of the temples as well. It gets all lit up at night time, the band is lit up at night time. So it's going to look really, really fantastic. Um, so I'm really keen, I'm really pumped. The train's just arrived, so we're going to jump on it now. And uh, yeah, let's see where the journey takes us. <laughs> So being in Japan for the last few days now, I've got to say, absolutely love it. It is fantastic. The food, the sights, the smells, the sounds, the people, everything's just so incredible. Now, a fun fact about me, I don't speak Japanese. I can say yes, no, big, small, uh, excuse me, and thank you, both formal and informal. Now, we saw some amazing cherry blossoms today. Um, I'll throw up a picture for you here. And I mean, it's just so incredible. I mean, it's been raining here in Kyoto um, for the first, well, pretty much the whole time we've been here. Um, today was only a little bit of rain, um, stopped off for the rest of the afternoon. It was only going for the morning. Um, but I mean, it's just so incredible. Like the old temples with the new school technology and uh, you know, the ar uh, architecture and everything like that. And another thing that I've really noticed is all their roads and car parks are so bloody small, like, dead set. If you've got a car back in Australia or something like that, there is no way that you would fit in any of these parking spaces that they've got over here. It's just so bizarre, but I can't believe Amy doesn't want to be seen with me wearing these things. I think they're fantastic. You know what? If you think these sunnies are fantastic too, do me a favour. Subscribe to my channel for more of these awesome looking sunnies. And uh, if you think they suck, drop me a like. That way it's a win-win for both of us. Why not? Show some love. Righty, so we made it to the Gion district. We're gonna go inside of a, a lolly shop here. It's called Candy Showtime Kyoto Gion. Amy wants to go in. She's got a bit of a headache at the moment, so she's not feeling the greatest. Um, had a nap in Panadol, but uh, let's see if we've got some others might help her out. leaving the candy store now. It's a uh, hard rock candy for the whole thing. They actually gave me a sample of the passion fruit one and you bought a little bag of it. It's it so good. It's so good. But if you're ever down here in the Gion district in Kyoto, definitely check it out. Another thing I've noticed about Japan is no one really looks at you funny or judges you. I mean, like, I'm wearing these, no one's taking a double glance. If I was back on the Gold Coast in Australia, everyone would be turning their heads at this bad boy. That's great. Grape flavor. Mm. Grape flavor is something they do so well here. We got Macca's earlier today. What do I, I got grape Fanta and a watermelon Fanta. It kind of tastes like, it's like a grape hubba bubba, um, but in a hard candy style. So definitely suss that out if you can. But uh, right now we're going, oh yeah, we're going over this way. Just walking around, seeing what's what. Had a tour close today. Now my brain's dead 